What's good everybody? I made a community post about playing more story games moving forward and I thought to myself we got to start off with a banger. So we're playing Doki Doki Literature Club. I do not know anything about this game but right here it says this game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. So it's gonna be a banger. Let's get right into it. Let's do this. I know Cub Scouts played it and he's my favorite YouTuber so if he's played it, it must be a good game. Individuals suffering from anxiety or depression may not have a safe experience while playing this game. Because I warnings, please visit. Blah, 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 blah. Well, I can do this. Don't worry. By playing Doki Doki Literature Club, you agree that you are at least 13 years of age. And you can sit. You only have to be 13. I, with that message, I thought you had to be at least 18. But yes, I am 13 years old. Look at that. So I'm assuming those are the four girls that we're going to be interacting with. And here we go. Look at this. Oh my goodness. All right. I don't see anything here about graphic settings. So I'm just going to get straight into it. Please enter your name. My name is Vin. There we go. There's my real name. Please don't, please don't use that for malicious intent. Hey. I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we are children. Oh yeah, this is uh, takes, takes place in Japan, right? You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it kind of worked. Jesus Christ, I can't. Christ? Jesus, I can't read, bro. But it kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. Oh, so we do know each other, okay. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, we would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waking up. Yeah, I never woke up on time for high school. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just said, okay, bro, can you shut your mouth and let me play the game? God damn, bro. Like, y'all, all this yapping, bro. I don't give a shit. I overslept again. Not my problem, Sayuri. But I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh, you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. Sorry guys, this... I'm gonna have to get used to uh, doing the voiceovers myself. Especially because... Oh my god, I have to do four different voices for all the... Four different girls. Oh my goodness gracious. That's mean, Vin. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Oh, we're already bringing... I mean, I, I, I knew this game uh, had dating aspects, but we're already bringing it up. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I mean, if we've known each other since high school, I mean, kind of makes sense, right? Like, we're like, sort of friends. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean even if you want to. Whatever you say, sorry. <laughs> I don't know what to say whenever they put like, E-H-E-H -E right next to each other. It's like, weird. <laughs> boy. We cross the street together and make our way to school. Wow, I wish I could fucking walk to school. No, I have to sit in traffic every fucking day for like at least an hour <laughs> as we draw near the streets become increasingly speckled with the other students making their daily commute by the way i mean i don't really see them but i'm assuming uh they'll, they'll pop up later by the way vin have you decided on a club to join yet yeah i'm gonna join the big titties D, D club that's uh that's the club i'm joining a club i already oh a club? I told you already. I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. The only club I did in real life was um <laughs> an esports club. I haven't been looking either. Eh? That's not true. You told me you joined a club this year. Did I? I don't remember that, Sayori. I think I'd rather uh, be a homebody. I'm sure it's possible I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's talking about. Is this gonna be like, um, what's that one anime where everybody just like fucking talks in their head? Like, is it Death Note or whatever? It's just like, no, no actual dialogue, it's just me thinking about my own thoughts. So you already likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content on getting by on the average. Uh, just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh, uh-huh. I was talking about... I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Man, social skills, bro. Overrated. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. You know. 
I'm perfectly happy, uh... Wait, I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years just because you're not used to the real world. What the hell is a neat? You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right, I'll join a club. God damn. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yes, yes, Ayori. I'll do whatever you want, okay? Why do I get my, let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? I don't know, she seems nice enough, bro. Bro, this- this- my, our character, he complains way too much, bro. Oh, shit. He's gonna hit the windows button. No, but he- he complained way too much, bro. He's just like, oh my god, this girl actually cares about me. Yeah. Please fuck off, like, bro. Calm down. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Bro, go home and play games. Didn't you say you, uh, you like playing video games? Oh. We're trying to join a club. My bad. Hey, eSports clubs exist now. You can join that. I don't know when this game was made, but... I guess uh, no choice but to start the anime club. I don't like anime in real life, so I probably won't join that if that is an option. So you're going to cleaning the classroom while I'm spacing out. I look around and realize I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting there spacing out, so I came in. Uh, you're... You're uh, overstepping a little bit, Sayori. Just a, just a wee bit, okay? I know we're friends, but you know, you, you don't gotta follow me around 24-7. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... No, what? Well, that you could come to my club. What club are you in? What what club is she... What, what club is she... The literature club. Oh, hell no! Oh, hell no! I hate English club. Bro. Every okay, let me tell you y'all something right now. English is a pyramid scheme, okay? What can you get with an English degree? Like, what what what, what jobs can you teach? You could just become an English teacher, and it's, it's the same cycle over and over again. Don't get an English degree. English degrees are pyramid schemes, and I hate I hate writing. Uh, she's vice president. Uh, yeah, I hate I hate. Literature. Literature anime? Oh my goodness gracious. Can I just chop my balls off and be done with it? I fucking hate both of them. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a- Oh my god, Sayori. And Natsuki makes cupcakes and everything. Is that one of the other four girls? <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. That's why I never tell my wife that, you know, I'm a pleaser. Uh, when it comes to that time of night. I can't tell if Sayori is really much an airhead or is she cunning? She's so cunning to as to have this all planned out. Uh, probably both, maybe? Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go! Woo! So happy. Uh, I sold my soul for a cupcake. Hey, if it's a banging cupcake, I would do the same thing, honestly. Uh, a section of school, I pray third year classes and activities. Oh yeah, we're, we're all freshmen, right? So you're full of energy. But becoming vice president as a freshman is low-key really impressive. Depends how big the school is. Everyone, the new member's here. Told you, don't call me a new member. I glance around the room. Is this Natsuki? I mean, she was on the uh, cover of the game, so I'm assuming this is Natsuki, right? Welcome to the literature club. Wait, I gotta think of a voice for her. Hold on, hold on. As I was sitting here and workshopping the voice, uh, I just realized this music is actually really nice. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Can you hear that like nice, like soothing voice? I'm at least attempting to do that. Sayori so always says nice things about you. Sir, wait. Oh, this is a different girl. Oh God damn it! Seriously, you bought a book? Oh fuck me, that hurt my throat. <coughs> Seriously? Oh my goodness. Seriously? Oh shit. How do I do this? Fuck. Um. Seriously? You better a boy. How about that? How about that, guys? I'll go stick with that. Seriously? You better a boy. Dude, my throat is gonna be chalked at the end of this. Way to kill the atmosphere. Oh my goodness gracious. Hold on. Let me take a sip of water before I come up with this shit. Ah, Vin. What a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. All words escape me in this situation. This club and the three new voices that I had to do ugh, is full of incredibly cute girls. 
my two inch peener showing at the at this very moment. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, just say it. Well, you look like you're 14, so I don't really know why my character is uh, getting a little little bit of a peener. His peener uh, is going like boing because of that. That's a little bit weird. Sorry. Natsuki. Hmm. The girl with the sour, sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is the one is one I don't recognize. Probably because she's still in high school. Her, wait, we're not all uh, like freshmen? Okay. Her small figure makes me think she's probably first. Yeah, I'm assuming so. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. I forgot their names already, bro. Oh, this is this is our friend, right? Sayori, okay. Wait, what voice did I do for her? Fuck me. <laughs> you can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, and then turns back around the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. So Natsuki, Yuri, Sayori. Don't, don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparatively more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. God damn, these names, bro. They're gonna be the death of me. Ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. What about the other girl? Oh, Monica. Okay, that's an easy name to remember. It sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Vin. Why are they like holding hands? You see that? <laughs> Mon Monica smiles sweetly. Monica smiles like that. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. So I'm a sophomore? Monica was probably the most beautiful girl or popular girl in class. Oh, shit. My bias is showing. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely... Wait. Having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... You, you too, Monica. Come sit down, Vin. Wait. Come sit down, Vin. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I just... I got a little too excited. And how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. So is this just like a dating sim or something? That's what I'm assuming. I saw you already mentioned it's been widened so there's one place next to Monica. All right, all right, all right. I'm not gonna read over the narrator every single time. I'll just like have it reading so the video is not like two hours long. All right, I sent it to Sayori. All right, cool. Okay. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! What? Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy pan or cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Dude, vanilla is definitely my favorite flavor, so uh... Hopefully they're vanilla. Alright. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. I think I'm mixing up their voices already. <laughs> but, well, you know, just hurry and take one. <laughs> All right. It's, it's delicious. Oh my God, these voices, bro. Talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing in her face. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Okay, I'm assuming they're all going to be interested in me because it's a dating sim, right? She waited for me to take a bite. I finally bite down. I think it's sweet and blah, 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 blah. this is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. What? Why are you thanking me? It's not like. But you made the cupcakes, right? I I mean, I'm just I'm just thanking you. Yeah, you made the cupcakes, right? Well, maybe, but not for you know you, dumbass. <laughs> all right, all right, jeez, yeah, some very strange logic there. Yuri returns, carrying a tea set. She prayerfully places a teacup in front of us before sitting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this class- Wait, you keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? No, because I don't enjoy reading. Reading is like, <laughs> so fucking boring to me. I guess. <laughs> don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Uh, 
That's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. Yeah, tea's, tea's good. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises the eyebrow and then smiles at me. So what made you consider the literature club? I didn't consider it. <laughs> Tell Monica that I was probably... Yeah, probably not. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make you feel right at home, okay? Alright, Monica. As pres oh, she's the president. Alright, alright. As president of the literature club... As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Well, I think it'd be more fulfilling to, uh... To start your own club, personally. Oh, my friend was a part of the... Both of my... Two of my friends were uh, part of the debate club. I can't stand the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. Yeah, it kind of seems tiring. I... That's why I didn't really participate in clubs myself. Just kidding, I was just a loner. So I'd rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. That's what I'm kind of trying to do with uh, my YouTube channel. So, hopefully that, that uh, works out well. If it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. That is, she does sound like a great leader. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting all the effort to start something brand new. Yeah, it's uh, pretty difficult. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. Don't, don't, uh, don't let her know what I think about, uh, literature, because, uh, I might get murdered. <laughs> the literature club. Oh, hell no! <laughs> you have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events, like the festival, that much more important. I'm confident that we can all grow into this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Oh, grow this club. Sorry. Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it! Oh shit, I gave them the same voice. Fuck me, bro. Okay, what about hair colors? Because I can differentiate these two by hair colors. Alright, hold on, hold on. Uh, Let's test it out. I know this one, Yuri. I know this one, Monica. Sayori, Natsuki. Bang, bang, bang! I'm in. I, I know all their names. I got this. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have really worked hard to find these three. Maybe that's why they were so delighted by idea of a new member joining. Yeah, me either. I don't really... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, Percy Jackson. Oh, you fucking loser, bro. Manga. Manga. Not, not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Your choice is the... My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. Those are pretty, pretty tough. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. That's also why I like uh, story games, because I, I feel like that's my, um, my own way of... Um, experiencing stories like because because if you think about it video games are just like a medium to express stories and books are another medium but i don't really like books because i'm not i don't really feel like immersed in it i don't really have that good of an imagination so this is like a lot easier because you know these are just like visually something you can look at she seems so reserved but she finds her comfort in the world of books not people ah so she's an introvert but you know i like a lot of things Stories with deep psychological elements really immer usually immerse me as well. Those, yes, yes. Honestly, I kind of can like pretty much any genre as long as uh, as long as the writing is good. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Hey, uh, our, uh, Halloween's coming around the corner, so very fitting. Ah, I read a horror book once. Desperately grasp of something I can relate to at the minimal level. That is really relatable. Holy shit. At this rate, you're in my head. <laughs> yeah, basically, you haven't talked at all. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. Someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. 
But if a story makes me think or takes me to to another world, then I can't really put it down. That's yeah, relatable, honestly. Why am I clicking on her? Uh, that was not intentional, guys. That was not intentional. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Damn, this girl got some deep, <laughs> deep thoughts. Uh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just never mind. That's that's right. You usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Well, that kind of seems fitting with her personality, doesn't it? What? What gives you that idea? You left it. You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you're working on a poem called Don't say it out loud and give it back. Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. So your size up. I put your hands on your shoulders. I'm not cute. Natsuki, you write your own poems. Poetry is lame and boring. <laughs> like guess sometimes, why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No! Suki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Why? Are they not about gay porn? Because if so, I'm out! Ah, uh, not a very confident writer yet? I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. Yeah, if it's poetry, if it's not like super deep, people just think it's lame as fuck. But like me. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. Mmm, that's deep. That's uh put that put that in a quote. Make that a quote. I'm gonna make that uh my channel background. You must be willing to open up your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, showing the deepest reaches, even the deepest reaches of your heart. You have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your own work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Why can't I read right now? I guess it's the same for Yuri. Uh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Huh? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Oh, god damn it. Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. Man, how am I supposed to stroke my chicken or yank my peener if, if I have the right poetry? Like, come on now. By the way, everyone is even. Uh... Yeah, let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help all us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, then? Anka smiles. Hold on, there's still one problem. I didn't want to join this bullshit club. <laughs> oh shit. I never said I would join this club. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at and, um... I lose my train of thought. Yeah, I don't want to get murdered by these girls. I'd rather just, just stay stay in the club. Uh, I think my chicken can uh, can rest for one night. But, wait, who said that? Monica? Oh, this, this one. But, I'm sorry. I thought, hmm. Then, you all, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? Uh, well, I know you're thinking with your Johnson and not your brain. So you're, uh... Yeah, 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 I knew it. Yeah, the club. Yeah, I decided I'll join the Literature Club. Wait, this game is called Doki Doki Literature Club. Why did I think that we were going to join a different club? Am I stupid? I might be. One by one, the girls, I was like, yes. Oh, yes, I'm so happy. Sorry, I wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would have been super pissed. Yeah, I think she's gonna murder me first. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Ah, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone, remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Finn, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is this might be uh, this might be raps, guys. What if I just write down the lyrics to a little piece of heaven, and I'm just like, here's my poem, guys. And then, like, cause I don't think I don't think any of them listen to metal. Maybe Sai or uh, Natsuki does. Like, I feel like I feel like she might listen to metal, but 
you know, I just like sneak that in there, be like, oh yeah, but I'm so intelligent, and I just bring another like a different Avenged Sevenfold song for every meeting. Uh, oh yeah, so we're gonna walk home. Yay! Let's go. With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Which one gets my Johnson the hardest, is what my character is probably thinking. Will I really be happy spending every day in the school, after school in a literature club? Yeah, I mean, if there's that possibility, you're gonna be happy. Don't even trip, bro. Don't even trip, brother. I just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Ooh. It's time to write a poem. Oh, god damn it. Pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Oh, something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Okay, out of the four girls, I think Yuri got my attention right now. So let's go with whichever one makes Yuri happy. Okay, so I did not realize that this game did not have an all save. So I'm back to the right poem part. I'm gonna try to pick the same answers though. So try not to cheat there. And I'll see you guys back when I'm done. Okay guys, I think I cheated a little bit because I thought they would have the same prompt every single time. But I guess it changes, so I just picked whatever I thought was like deep and meaningful. Alright. Hi Genvin! Glad to see you didn't run away on us! <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. The only one that is Doki Doki. This lot's coming in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Ben. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Well, I like trying new things. Especially when, uh... My boner. Oh, come on! Like, he deserves any slack. Wait, so Natsuki is sticking up for me now? Sayuri! Tell me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year too. Wait, so I'm a junior? No, no, so I'm still a sophomore, right? I'd, I don't know if you plan to come here and hang out or what. Oh, she's not, she's not sticking up for me. She thinks I'm here just because I get, my Johnson gets uh, rock solid when I'm here. But if you don't take it seriously, then you will see the end of it. Yeah, she's definitely trying to murder me. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Ooh, burn. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki pops back into his Don't worry, guys. Ben always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. Why do I feel like there's a suck joke I could have made there? You know, see with busy work without me even asking. Man, now I'm just... She exposed me like... Oh my goodness gracious, I'm just a simp, holy fuck. Anyway, how dependable. Sayori, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. You all, And you almost set your house on fire once. Relatable? That's so... Uh, you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. Ooh! We're bagging Yuri. We're bagging Yuri. It's happening. It's happening. How come you and Vin can be good friends too? I think she was referring to more of you guys, but whatever. Sayori. Hmm? As usual. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yuri even brought you something today, you know? Wait, wait. Sayori. Uh, me? Um, not really. Don't be shocked. Really nothing. It, it's really nothing. What is it? Never mind. So you already made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Oh, is this the the her blushing? Ah, oh, what do I do? Eh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want to be. Alright. Well, here. That's actually a really good way to... of handling the situation. Oh, she gave me a book? 
Damn, in today's economy, that's a... That's a really nice gift. I don't... I didn't want you to feel, you to feel left out, so I picked out a book I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even though you don't usually read. Did she just call me retarded? And we could, you know... Bone? Oh, oh. Discuss it if you... <coughs> Sorry guys, I'm getting ahead of myself. Discuss it if you wanted. Oh! How is this girl accidentally being so cute? Um... I hate to break it to you. That's how most girls... Like, you know that one song? I don't even know what it's called, but it's basically... It, like, it just explains, like, why this girl is so cute. And it's because she doesn't know that, like, what she's doing is cute. She's just, like, going about doing her things. That... Yeah, that, that explains the whole phenomenon pretty pretty well. She picked out a book she thinks I like, despite not, me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastic to pick the book. Whew. Well, you can read how you earn a bit. I asked this again. Is she calling me retarded? I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in book. I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for this chant. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around the closet. That seems... Yeah, that seems like her fits her personality. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. So I did pick all the things that lined up with what Yuri likes, or like most of them at least. But at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. Please be gay porn, please be gay porn, please be gay porn. It looks like the same book she lent me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Ah, uh, crap. I think she knows me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me and our eyes meet for a split second. How romantic. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. Sorry. I was just spacing out. I muttered this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. Okay, okay, player. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so she's rereading the same book she gave me. She she want me bad. She want me bad. More than Epic Games wants me every time I log into their fucking thing and it asks me for activation code so I can get the free games. <laughs> That's the book you gave me, right? Hmm. I wanted to reread some of it. Sure you did, Yuri. Sure you did. Not for any particular reason. Just curious, how come you have two copies of the same book? Ah, uh, well, I, when I stopped by the- Man, you could've just lied, bro. You could've said like it was your brother's copy or something. Bookstore yesterday. Uh, that's not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. Oh yeah, you just happened to be like, Oh, sorry, I bought two of them, but you keep the change. I, I, I'm balling out like that. Yeah, I mean, you can, I mean, a two-year-old can figure out what, what she's trying to do. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Why don't you just read it right now, bro? You're in the literature club, just read it, bro. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's it about, anyway? Well, hmm. Here he closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. You couldn't just tell me? Oh, she's talking about the book title, okay. Portrait of Markov? There's ominous looking eyes symbol on the front cover. Alright. I just wanted to make sure I don't accidentally give anything away. Oh, okay. That's nice. Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her lo long lost younger sister. But as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escape from a human experiment prison. And while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships, and her life starts to fall apart. Yeah, this book actually sounds really interesting. Is this a real book? Or is it just, uh, based off a real book or something? That's kind of... That's kind of dark, isn't it? I don't think so. It seems more like a m mystery book. Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark term came out of nowhere. Well, is this she just reading off the back? Ah. Yuri gent- Oh. Ah. Is that more accurate? Gently giggles all of a sudden. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing then? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. 
Yeah. I totally forgot that Yuri is into these things. Wow, that's a great, great way to make her interested, isn't it? She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. I kind of disagree. She just seems like, kind of like, deep in thought all the time. It's just that those kinds of stories, they challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. I, I agree, actually. Yeah, 100%. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals or their own philosophy that they believe in. And suddenly, when you thought you related to the protagonist, they're made out to be the naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. I'm... I'm rambling, aren't I? It's actually, yeah. That, that's, that's actually pretty deep, I'm not gonna lie. That's, uh... Yeah. I, uh... I don't think most people are... Like, I, I think most people are, like, good in nature. N nature. Nature. And, like, there's obviously... There's some people who are just downright evil and they, they know they're evil and they're just, you know, doing it. But I think most people are just selfish. Like, that, that you think are evil are just, like, selfish. Or, like, wanted to be good. Like, they, they had the right intentions, but they don't know how to actually, like, execute their plans. But I feel like I should not let you know I had this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. And I kind of get the sense that that happened. So sorry if I end up saying something strange. Don't worry, Yuri. Don't worry, Yuri. It's okay. I'm a yapper too. And please stop me if I start talking too much. I feel like you're gonna talk like very little, no? I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It is a literature club after all. I do like listening to people's conversations. I find it really interesting. Like I don't, I don't really like sharing like my own stories and perspectives, but I really like hearing other people talk about how they like perceive stuff it's kind of it's really interesting if you uh actually pay attention to people which sometimes i forget to do in fact i might as well get started reading it right i mean you're in the literature club and she gave you the book right yeah, you don't have to <laughs> what are you saying just a moment ago you said you were looking forward to it let me just get the book I quickly retrieved the book that- Wow, you could've just read it right away, bro? Come on, she gave you the book and everything. Alright, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip in the seat next to you. Okay, never mind, player. Never mind. That's all you. That's all you, Vin. I'm <laughs> shitting it here right now. So beautiful. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. Okay, now don't go saying that, bro. That's- I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's- just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Alright. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I could feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing, <laughs> you know what I mean? Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri's in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. What's she looking at? It looks like she's reading from my book instead. Oh, okay. Sorry, I was just... Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I, I, I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... <laughs> Here, this should work, right? I slide my... Oh! Oh, damn! Oh, never mind. I feel bad for insulting my character. He's uh, he, he got mad game. That's That's on me, King. I, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own company. As we watch, or as we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand, and I use my left hand to... Uh, I guess that kind of makes it difficult to turn the page. Here. Oh, they gave you a different picture. So I'm assuming that you get three different options depending on who uh or what poetry you like which character liked the poetry your poetry the best so it's kind of interesting we didn't even read our po did we even read our poetry i don't even know he takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger ah uh, the same with my right arm on the right side of the book that way as i turn a page he slides it under her thumb after flipping to the next page but, uh, holding it like this we're huddled even closer together than before. It's 
actually kind of distracting me. I wonder why. Is there a little bit of blood rush going somewhere? Boner. It says, if I could feel the warmth of Yuri's face, and she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? I'll turn the page. Ah, sorry, I think I got a little distracted for a second. Wonder why. I glance over at Yuri's face again, and our eyes meet. Oh, she is looking at me. Oh, that's cool. I, I think that the picture changed. Like, at first she was re looking at the book, and then... That, that's just really cool. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, uh, that's, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. She's calling me retarded. <laughs> it's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me. Okay, she got game too. What the hell? <laughs> Thanks. We continue reading. Yuri no longer asked me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assumed that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. Continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey Yuri, this might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. I was just going to say that. Oh my goodness. I, I, I'm not bullshitting you. I, I was like, dude, this character kind of sounds like her. Like, like, like the whole like story and like how she navigates through it kind of sounds like her just based off what she read from the back. You, you think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways, but she also second guesses all the things she says and does. Okay, I, so we are on completely different pages, but it, 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 they do seem very similar. Like she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can see into your head or anything, but they're kind of reminiscent of your mannerisms. I, I see. Yuri remains silent for a moment, but then that's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. Ah, oh, that's so embarrassing that you think that. Wait, I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. It's kind of endearing. It's kind of endearing. You don't don't be self-conscious about it, baby girl. I guess I meant that. I more meant that it's kind of cute. Uh, what are you saying all of a sudden? Okay, everyone. Thank you, Monica, for sweeping in the coming coming into the rescue. It's. I think it's about time we share today's poems with each other. Oh, so we haven't even read the poetry yet. We might not have enough time if we wait too long. Ah, uh, Yuri exhales. Oh, <sighs> spare for finishing your thought. Is that all right, Yuri? You look kind of down. I'm sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. Ah, uh, it's not. It's fine. Yuri releases her hand from the book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. All right, I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Or would you prefer I only read it with you? Um, I guess I don't have too much of a preference either way. In that case, I'll read a little more tonight. It might be more, it'll be more fun to read it with you after it picks up a bit, you know? That's good reasoning. In that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters in your own time. All right, I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book. You don't got like a bookmark, you're in a literature club, bro. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Oh, absolutely freaking lutely don't even worry. Yeah, my relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've not really done this before. Well, I mean, weren't you inspired by Yuri? <laughs> Come on, bro. Stop lying to yourself. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait. Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. That's, that's, yeah, that's relatable. My backpack was a complete fucking mess in high school, dude. My backpack, oh my goodness, it looked like a trash compactor, bro. It's absolutely awful. On the other hand, Monica writes hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica pers Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Not relatable at all. My handwriting is complete dog shit. Reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Who should I show my poem to first? Oh, so I showed up to all of them? Well, I mean, we just talked to Yuri, and I like her the most, so why not, right? Yuri seems the most experienced, so I should start with her. I can trust her opinion to be fair. Well, she seems a little bit biased towards you, but you know what, whatever. As Yuri reads the poem, I see her eyes lighten. Exceptional. Uh, what was that? D did I say that out loud? 
Yuri first covers her <laughs> covers her mouth, but then ends up covering her whole face. Yeah, that's cute. Uh, he's going to hate me. Wait, is that like her whispering or her thinking? Um, you really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Huh? That's. I, I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? Oh, you know what? Yuri takes a deep breath. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imagery and metaphors indicates that you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? Oh, that's a huge compliment coming from you. I did not expect my character- I expected his writing to be complete dog shit. But I guess, uh, we're, you know, gonna lie a little bit. This is actually my first time, really. Huh? Yuri stares at me blankly, then writes- look at my poem again. Well, I know that. I just meant, um... Yuri trails off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her finger along the words in the poem, as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah, okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. I wouldn't say that myself, but I mean, I guess she's more experienced than me, so what, what, am I, what does my opinion matter? In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and then they... F oh, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, okay, never mind, I agree with that. The end result is both the style and ex the expressiveness are weakened. Damn, she knows her shit, bro. And uh, once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. I think most things that seem or look simple are pretty complex in nature. Like chess, for instance, like it's pretty easy, the basics are really easy, but like if you really dive deep into it, it's super complex. Not just finding them and building them, but getting to work getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a bit biased though, and eh, kinda of picked up on that. Biased how? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Oh, they got some beef? Oh shit. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Okay, I thought she'd have a completely different attitude. I thought she'd be like really shy and not want to share it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if that's a rare opportunity for her, which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? My thoughts exactly. Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining flick outside poem era. Oh, okay. The last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last to be replaced by the sickening blue green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers. I or flickers. I flicker back. I I wonder if like the people working on this game actually wrote this poem, because I'm I'm pretty sure like uh, this this probably isn't like like some like famous poem that they stole. I feel like they made it themselves. Like I I, I don't know. This this shit isn't like cringy. I I don't know. I'm thinking. I guess I'm thinking more of uh like love poems or like people like confessing this shit and, like poetry Ugh, that's just, just cringy but this is fine to read this this was cool to read i'm i'm sorry i have such terrible head writing what the fuck are you talking about <laughs> yuri you got some great you got some great cursive handwriting but it took you a long time to read uh that's because i'm retarded well i just don't read script very often i actually think your handwriting is pretty huh that's a relief also i like the poem I can't exactly put, put my finger on it, but uh, even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. Usually, I usually write longer poems. I think shorter is better for poetry. Not at all. I'm 
Really glad you like it. I'll be honest, since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to, to judge, digest, I suppose. Uh, uh, okay, that makes more sense. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? Hey, is that a phasmophobia reference, perchance? Because, uh, her, I mean, her name is Yuri, like, uh, Yuri, expect, except it's spelled with an E in, for the I in phasmophobia, so... Actually, the story isn't about ghosts at all, Vin. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Yeah. Well, I well, I suppose you did only glance over after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, Perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. That's what I thought my character meant, but I guess she thought differently. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. Huh? It's, it's nothing really. Yours was impressive too, so... I kind of want to see my poem now, but uh... I guess they can't really make a different poem for... I mean, like, I guess they could have made one for, like, what Monica likes, one for, you know, one for what each of the girls likes. Ah, if anything, I could probably learn a thing or two for you, from you. You think so? I mean, you're the president, no? I feel like learning from the president is uh, usually a smart decision. Ah, you know, I was really nervous about doing all of this. But in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm going to keep doing my best for you, Vin. Shit, not for the club, just for me. Okay, baby. Uh, me too. Who should I show my poem to next? I don't care about any of these people. I'll do uh, Sayori, because Sayori is my, 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 home, my home slice. You feel me? This is a good poem, Vin. Are you sure it's your first time? Of course. It's not that good. Am I the kind of guy who would be writing poems in his spare time? <laughs> I guess you're right. But that's why it impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously. Or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy that you wrote one. It just reminds me how you're really a part of this club now. The club now. Not, the f <laughs> not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Vin. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know. You don't know me. I'm uh, one selfish cunt. Okay, you don't know me, Sayori. Trying new, trying new things like this for other people? That's something that only really good people do. That. <laughs> I don't do that in real life. I fucking hate trying new things. I always, when I'm on YouTube, I rewatch the same videos over and over and over again. Same show, same movie, same book, same everything. I try to eat the same food. I hate trying new experiences. It's mm, it's not something I uh, do, and I definitely don't do it for other people. So I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny she's part of the reason I joined. <sniffs> Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm gonna hold you to that then. Yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Oh shit, they did one for everybody, that's cool. Well, I don't, I don't really know why I expected anything different after they made one for Yuri. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning... Okay, so... Yuri, like, deep mysterious like like dark stuff and then uh sayori is like very happy and bright dear sunshine the way you glow through my blinds in the morning it makes me feel like you miss me kissing my forehead to help me out of bed making me rub the sleepy from my eyes are you asking me to come out and play are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day i look above the sky is blue it's a secret but i trust you too if it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. Okay. I like this poem better than Yuri's, actually. Because, I mean, Yuri said it herself she toned it down. And this one's kind of funny, so. 
Sayori, this is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? No, just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I feel like you could. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little bit better about myself. I thought my character was going to ask, uh, were you hungry when you wrote this? Because I want breakfast. I still try my best. Uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Yeah, they, they really... Uh, I really like the way that they um, have developed the personalities of each of the four girls right now. Like, they all seem like very distinctive and separate from each other. Really? Yeah, especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late for school, it's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. It, that is some good advice. Kids, if you're watching this, you, you should eat breakfast, okay? Powers you up for the day. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Wait, why are kids, kids should not be watching this. This is uh, for uh, mature audiences only. Monica's the best. Oh, uh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. And I'm going to write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Who should I show my poem to next? Uh, Natsuki hates me, so I guess I'll go with Monica to soften the blow. Hi, Ben. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good, good to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything... Okay, the only problem I have right now is I kind of made Monica and Sayori's voice the same. So I'll workshop it in between episodes. If you ever have suggestions suggestions for the club like new activities or things we can do better i'm always listening don't be afraid to bring things up okay all right i'll keep that in mind of course i'll be afraid to bring things up i, I yeah i have a lot of ideas i don't really filter them out though and i like i think all of them are good so yeah big problem especially if uh, for with time management i'm much better off going with the flow until i'm more settled in that's a good strategy anyway Want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Did Sayori not read my poem? <laughs> Don't worry, Ben. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. True. True, true, true. True that, true that. Hmm. Great job, Ben. I was going ooh in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. Okay, everybody's saying I'm stupid. <laughs> I guess I underestimated you. Well, I thought my character was stupid too, so I mean... It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way, it always counts when I put in some effort. Some some wise logic. Roderick had the same logic in uh, Diary Wimpy Kid. <laughs> That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Oh, so we did write it. So that Yuri would like it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Damn, she got some long ass. Holy shit, bro. This guy's some like fucking claws, bro. God damn. Writing that's full of imagery and symbolism. I don't. I, I don't like long nails, bro. Like long. Like. I, I don't know. You, you just can't do anything with like your nails. You know, you, I feel like it's so hard. Like you can't type. You can't. Like work on stuff it's it's just like super impractical and i don't know i've never heard anybody be like oh yeah man i love them like nine inch long nails that, that, that's just me though that's just me writing that's full of imagery and symbolism unlike sayori who likes keeping things simple and direct words to describe happiness and sadness yuri likes it when readers are left to derive their own meaning out of it i like games like that too so i think it applies to poems as well but i also like Things that are just like super like direct, especially things like poems, because poems are meant to be like, or I feel like they're usually meant to be like super like deep and meaningful. And then like, I want breakfast is just a funny line. It's very challenging to write like that effectively, both allowing people to get something out of it just by feel or letting them deeply analyze all the nuances. It could take years of practice, which I'm sure, which I'm assuming Yuri has at this point. I never really asked though. I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Don't worry so much about that. You do your own thing. Just keep exploring and learn by trying new things. 
I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I can feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kinds of style. Okay, now that I'm going through it, I kind of, I like all the girls. Like, all the, again, their personalities are really distinct, but like, there's like something endearing about all of them. But I think I, I, I'm still leaning towards Yuri. Some, everyone else might be a little biased towards their own kind of styles though. But I, I'll always help what, I always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Haha. <laughs> anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be pretty good. Well, that's because I had to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. Wait, I got it wrong. I think Monica's the president, right? Oh, my bad. I see. Well, let's just read it then. Hole in a wall. Oh, this is the longest one so far. All right. Hole in the wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction the sparkle spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I was at home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind, like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas. Already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he on the other side was looking in. Pretty, pretty good. Yeah, it seems like very like all over the pl like very like I don't know. No, no, all over the place sounds insulting. Like it talks about like everything and nothing at the same time. If that makes sense. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. I'm sure I fucked it up then. What was the inspiration behind this one? Ah, uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany, re epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a little bit. Well, since she said he, I'm assuming she's talking about me. Because, you know, it's a dating... I'm pretty sure it's a dating sim. Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming out strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. This is actually kind of useful for me because, I mean, writing, it, it, like, it's kind of similar to consecration because they're both in like the creative sphere, you know? So just having different uh like people helping you out and giving you advice on how to do stuff creatively is really helpful if you try so hard to make it perfect then you'll never make any progress just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy it up later and i know another way to think about it is this if you keep your pen in the same spot for too long you'll just get a dark, dark, big dark puddle of ink so just move your hand and go with the flow that's my advice for today Thanks for listening. That's actually pretty good advice. Uh, I think I, yeah, I mean, I don't, my video quality is not very good, but I always like had this grand idea for a video and then I just never end up doing it because I'm like, oh, I'm not skilled enough, but I should just like put it out there, you know, like just, just work on it and see how good I can make it. Well, it's about what I expected for someone like you. Okay, bitch. That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. It just didn't invoke any emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough for your taste? Do you want to get smacked? I'll pass. <sighs> well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. I thought you'll like it. Eagles can fly, monkeys can fly, crimpus, crickets can leap, horses can rake, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try. But that's about it. Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> it's definitely the worst one. Yeah, I told you that you weren't going to like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. 
Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? I mean, I just kind of just like... So this the, the her poem is the equivalent of modern art and like just throwing paint at like a canvas like it's just like anybody could do it well because because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff that's not true because um sayori's wasn't like all sophisticated but i like hers because hers was interesting this one's not interesting so people don't even take my writing seriously but isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves your writing style shouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. What about that it makes it hit you hard? Like in this poem, seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Oh, okay. That, okay. Now that she explains it, I, I get it a little more, but I mean, it's still like, yeah. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing that it is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set it I set it up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? I guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is. As long as they're over 18. But if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Whew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. Hold up, let me save. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as it. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Now, the only one who really judged was Natsuki. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki, I, Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Um, did you say did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns to the poem, the poem to the desk with one hand. Okay, so yeah, they they uh, they got some beef. I guess I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss a symbolism or something? It's clear you're about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. She does not know that. <laughs> I did not know that until she explained it to me. I just, I just meant the, the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it didn't. It really didn't come out nice at all. Oh, do these two girls hate each other? And then Monica and Sayori hate each other. And then if you like, like if I liked natsuki better and yuri would be more pissed off and then if i liked oh i definitely want to do different playthroughs of this um because that i feel like that'd be interesting um uh, oh um well i do have a couple of suggestions hmm. if i was looking for suggestions i would have asked someone who actually liked it bad way to improve you gotta you gotta elite not maybe because not a lot of people can't take like really harsh criticism so don't go for like the people who hate it the most but like people who actually want to try to get you to improve will give you criticism and give you fair criticism and you should always be looking out for criticism to make this stuff better about whatever work uh you want to do especially if it's creative which people did by the way sayori liked it and ben did too so based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. Okay, I think they're rejecting criticism not because like they don't want to improve, but this is because they just have beef with each other. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring, inspiring which I haven't yet. Mm. And Ben liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh? 
I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. You brought it up first, uh, Natsuki. That's not what... Uh, you, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Vin appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Hmm. And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberate, deliberately go out of my- Oh shit, it's getting heated in here. Deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Uh, um, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one who's- Whoa. I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Vinch started showing up. Natsuki. Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve- Oh, both of them say that. Oh, shit. I do like fighting, guys. Suddenly, both girls turn towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Vin, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. You definitely started it, Natsuki. If she could get over yourself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point of making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The mini should jump out at the reader and not force them to have to figure them out. I, I, I can understand both perspectives, to be honest. Like, you don't want your po or like any creative work you do to be like super like abstract that nobody understands it. But at the same time, if you're just like making it like super, super blunt all the time, it's kind of boring. It's like sometimes it gives off the impression that anybody can do it. So I do, I do some build, I understand both sides. Wait, there's a reason, reason why we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to con convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is also not only unnecessary limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Vin? Um, well... How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. Whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. Help me, Sayori! <laughs> um... Okay, so I'm obviously picking Yuri, but let me think about this. I, I do understand both perspectives. And for me, I really hate flavor text, especially like, like textbooks. It's all just like, it's like 500 words of just fucking nonsense, bullshit, like just filler words and flavor text. So I, I understand not liking that. But I think if it's actually meaningful and actually impactful and it's creative work, then I, te I would tend to lean more towards Yuri. I would have picked her anyways, but I think I would lean more towards Yuri's way of reasoning. What? That's Suki. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I, I thought she was, she was like, oh, I like the gear side better. Okay. You're right that I liked your poem. See? Wait. That's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. That's not what happened at all. Yuri wouldn't even take my poem seriously. Hmm, I understand. Yuri? Eh? You're a seriously talented writer. It's no secret that I was impressed. Well, that's... But here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it, and it becomes something really personal. That's why Natsuki felt threatened when you said her poem was cute. I see, I didn't notice that I... I'm sorry. Uh, but Natsuki, you took it way... Oh, oh, I thought that was Natsuki. But Natsuki, you took it way too far. Yuri means well, and if you just told her how you felt, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Are you kidding? That's exactly what I did! It was her that... Natsuki, I think that's enough. You both said some things you didn't mean. Yuri apologized. Don't you think you should too? Mmm. Natsuki clenches her fist. In the end, nobody is taking her side. She's trapped. At this point, being defiant only because only she can't handle the pressure. I end up feel, even feeling bad for her. I mean, I didn't take her side, but like, I didn't invalidate her feelings. I I, I feel like my character did that pretty pretty well. Um, sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps to take a walk and clear my head. Sayori, she doesn't need to. You know what? I'm going to do that. It'll spare me from having to look at all your faces right now. Without warning, Natsuki clutches, snatches her own poem up from the desk and storms out. On her way out, she crumples her, up the poem with her hands and throws it in the trash. Natsuki, she really didn't need to do that. I look across the room. 
Yuri has her chin buried in her hands while she stares at her desk. I gingerly approach her and sit in an adjacent chair. <sighs> Everything alright? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. Oh, Yuri. How can anyone not have gotten frustrated after being treated like that? You handed it a- You- Oh my fucking god, I can't speak English. You can't- You handled it as well as anyone could. I don't think any less of you. Well, alright, I believe you. Thanks, Finn. You're too kind. I'm thankful to have- To have you a part of this club now. It's nothing. One more thing. Um, that one thing that Nizuki said. I think it would've been better if you just left that alone, but... About, you know, I would never do anything so shameful, so, eh. What thing did Natsuki say? Feigning ignorance, I see. Um, well, never mind that. I'm, I'm going to go make some tea. Ah, good idea. Make enough for more than one person, okay? Yeah. You could say please, brother. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Yeah, well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. Then, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome! In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learned something- Oh. And maybe you learned something from your friends too. So your poems are turning out even better. I think to myself, I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can do at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Ben, ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sayori beans at me. It's truly been a while since me and Sayori have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Sayori. I need to find a point to stop because this episode is going to be forever. About what happened earlier. Eh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. You know what? I promise they're both wonderful people. Y you don't- you don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they make good friends with you. Whew. You know, Vin. It's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. Uh, wait. Oh yeah, yeah, in the club. For some reason I'm thinking of the nightclub, because you know, that's what my brain just... I've heard that word so many times, I just uh, default to that. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think that everyone really likes you too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. <sighs> it looks like... It looks like Sayori still has a caught. Oh my goodness, has it caught on to the situation I'm in? Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? Oh, you want to date all of them? Jesus Christ, bro. That's not being a player, that's being a fucking asshole. Well, I guess being a player is being an asshole. When I say player, I don't mean like that. We'll just have to see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the soldier. Sol soldier. Shoulder, god fucking. I said that more... To myself than to her, but it's easy to use Sayori as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. And I think that is a good place to stop, because holy shit, I have been recording for over an hour and a half, so I will definitely try to cut down the content a little bit, but my philosophy, so, little uh, yap session on the end here for everybody. Um, I don't my philosophy with content is I hate cutting stuff out. Like, I, I'd i rather have too much stuff in than too, like cutting too much stuff out. And that's why I put a lot of like uncut content on my channel. I just like having that there to remember. And like, and then if I want to cut it later, then I have it on my channel, I can re-download it and then re-edit it. Edit it, right? Um, so this is the first video I've done of a story game. This is very, very nice. I have wanted to get into story games for a while now. They're my favorite type of games. Uh, I just never, I just didn't have time over the summer. And I just obviously just recently started the channel. But I will definitely be playing more moving forward. And uh, one of the long term goals of my channel is to be able to 
be big enough to where I can support these amazing games because I had a lot of fun playing Doki Doki. I think it's really good so far. At first, I thought maybe it was a little bit too slow, but no, it's definitely it's definitely the correct pace and everything about this game has been really good. The four characters are very distinct, like their personalities are very distinct. Um, the music is really cool and the art is just really, really nice to look at. So yeah, I want to be able to be big enough, like I was saying, to be able to support game developers that make these amazing games and uh, just be able to highlight them. So that's that's what I'm going to be working up towards. And was there anything else I forgot to mention? No, I'm gonna just continue to work on my commentary, my reading skills apparently, because apparently I can't read. Um, and I'm trying to be as entertaining as possible. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of not only Doki Doki, but also uh, story games in general. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.